KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Sullivan. Good evening, everybody. As expected, our first little mini heat wave of the season uh, took on a Monday here. And there it was, 90 Santa Cruz, 91 Scotts Valley. We had the north winds. It makes such a difference. We've been talking about this all afternoon, that north wind coming right down off of the Santa Cruz Mountains. A big difference even between uh, there and Watsonville, a 10 degree spread. And even within Santa Cruz, we had uh, nearly 20 and 30 degree spreads this afternoon as the wind shifted out of the east. On the peninsula, a 70 Monterey, 73 Seaside. But look at Carmel, 81 degrees. Same thing, northerly winds coming down sloping off of the coastal hills. 88 in Carmel Valley, 83 in Big Sur, and yeah, pretty much perfect weather for the marathon yesterday. Middle 80s, Salinas, uh, low 90s for everybody else in the Salinas Valley, so uh, we were warming up pretty good, and we're going to warm a little more tomorrow. 88, San Jose, 90 in Hollister, and 87 in Gilroy. No records as far as I could tell, but tomorrow we might crack a couple. 66 in Lake Tahoe, so starting to uh, melt down the, uh, well, I would say almost double uh, the normal snowpack up there as they just did the measurements again. Upper 80s in Sacramento today, and there you go, 102. That might be the first time they broke the century mark down there in Palm Springs, 70s on the coast in Southern California. All clear here. Again, we just like to look at the snowpack there up on the high Sierra. So again, uh, you see that with the visible satellite imagery, uh, the infrared uh, with the clouds here and the radar showing some showers in the Pacific Northwest. And it's going to actually remain somewhat active in the Pacific Northwest. There are systems uh, queuing up to come in. So some rain expected in Seattle. High pressure for us though, and generally an offshore wind out of the north. And that is leading to much warmer temperatures here, especially right along the coast. And we're going to do that for about another 24 to 48 hours. High pressure will continue to dominate the weather here through the next couple of days, even building in further tomorrow. So I'm expecting some warming uh, over what we had today with the wind still offshore on Tuesday. Now Wednesday is going to be interesting. We may see a return flow out of the south that could bring up the low clouds and change things along the coast. We'll be watching that carefully. Either way, by Thursday we start cooling. High pressure moves out. Low pressure comes down, not with a lot of moisture, but with a big time cool down. It looks like there are even some showers up in the Pacific Northwest on Thursday night and Friday. We continued cooling, and it's going to be interesting on the track of this area of low pressure. If it comes overhead, we're going to see major, major cool down into the weekend, and this could even spawn a couple of yeah, rain showers. Nothing big, but you know, the chance is going to be there as we head towards the weekend. 50 to 57 tonight. Warmer spots actually up in the hills uh, where that warm air will just kind of sit overnight. Clear skies, no fog in the forecast at this point. Mild in the hills. And again, that offshore breeze. 72 to 92. So even a range along the coast, and we're including Salinas in that. Sunny skies, mild to warm, above average temps. And we should see an afternoon sea breeze. Coolest spots right along the peninsula if you want to get away from the heat. And then upper 80s to middle 90s again for the valleys and the hills. So very toasty uh, inland. And again, they will eventually get a little bit of a sea breeze, but that'll be late in the day. So temperatures 81 San Francisco tomorrow. Yeah, it's one of those days. Uh, this is kind of the precursor, right? Summertime is going to be a lot cooler. Uh, East Bay, South Bay, 87 San Jose, put 90 in for Gilroy and Morgan Hill, 93 in Hollister. And the Salinas Valley seeing pretty much all 90s, middle 90s in the southern half of the valley and upper 80s here in Salinas. So again, way above average for this time of year. Mid 70s to low 70s, your coolest spots, Monterey and Seaside, 72 to 74. 80 in Carmel, 90 though in Carmel Valley. So again, you don't have to get very far away uh, from the coast to feel the heat. 94 in Boulder Creek, 95 in Scotts Valley, middle 80s in Watsonville. And we'll go into the low 90s again tomorrow in Santa Cruz. So if you can, uh, you know, use precaution. We haven't had heat like this in quite a while. So if you're an outdoor enthusiast and going for any big runs and stuff like that, stay hydrated. The big cool down starts coming. It looks like on Thursday. There could be a little cooling on Wednesday at the coast, but Thursday into Friday, we're adding the low clouds. We're back into mostly 60s uh, for everybody at the coast, and we'll keep the slight chance of maybe a passing shower on Saturday and Sunday. It's going to depend on the track of the low pressure, but it will certainly be much cooler with highs only in the 50s and 60s. And inland will be cooling quite a bit as well. Their cool down will come about a day later. So Friday and Thursday, the big cooling 10 or 20 degrees per day, just 60s and 70s inland even over the weekend. Coldest spots will be up in the hills. And if you're heading into the Sierra or Yosemite, we were talking about this earlier, snow showers probably 7,000 feet and above. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> so it's not unusual. It's May. Yeah. You know? I know. But wow. <laughs> Just thought we were kind of done with it. Okay. But haven't we, said that we, in a we, long we, time. Yeah, have we, we said that Friday, so then we had to jinx it <laughs> pretty much. But we get rain in May. That's the thing. We generally yeah. do get a little bit of rain. So. Okay. 